Hey everybody, Puma here. I'm going to do a quick video um, about how to um, connect your uh, C4 and what is it, MC4 uh, connectors um, to your wire. You can save a little bit of money by buying the connectors um, uh, like this and then, then attach them to your, your wire instead of make, you know buying the pre-made wire. By two, three hundred feet of your cable, if you're running um, um, solar panels or whatever, um, you know it, it'll save you a little bit. So um, I'll show you what I do. Uh, strip off about a quarter of an inch or so. Now, when you do these, they have a male and female end. Uh, this obviously is the male. This obviously is the male part here. You guys can see it's sticking out, and that's the female part, and they go together. Um, what's what's kind of odd in this situation is that when you put the pins in, you're actually going to put a female end in the um, male end and the male end in the female end. I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay. For this one here, it's going to take this larger, larger one. If you can see that. Okay. And this other side is going to take the smaller one. You can see that. Well, this is the male, and this is the female on the metal connectors. And this female goes into the male. Yin and yang, I guess. There you go. Okay. So now you can go out and you can buy yourself a 65 or 75 or however pricey those those special clamps are. That's up to you. I just use a pair of pliers. I bend over the uh, little tabs here. Just kind of round them. And you take your little strippers with the clamp end on there. See that? Use the largest one. Go over where the seam is and just clamp it down. This wire is pretty stiff, so it kind of twists around on you. You just got to kind of keep your eye on it. Just redo that. Okay, don't trust it there though. That that could come apart. Now the other one, you may not have to do that. Do this next step, but for what I do, this is just as good. It gives me peace of mind and everything. That may be just fine, but it may come apart. So we're going to just uh, solder, do some soldering on there. Now remember, um, this is America. You can do what you want. I don't wear gloves. People recommend you wear gloves for soldering. Um, you know, it, it's still a free country. You, do, you, you make your own choices. Me, I decide not to uh, wear gloves. Um, when you're soldering... Um, something like this heat up the metal don't just put the um, solder on the uh, you know drip it on there because it won't hold you heat up the metal and heat everything up with it and then you'll get a good uh, good solder joint there it's gonna take a little while but everything will eventually heat up Go right over the copper. There we go. I'll try to get a different angle on the next one to show you. Show you how that works there. 
And once you get that done, you take your little your little nut here, and that slips over. Give it a look. Give it a couple of seconds before you put it together. Let it cool down just a little bit. Now you got to be careful when you uh, take these things apart. Uh, you have a little um, weather gasket right there. It'll fall out and roll someplace. You won't you won't find it. You won't have a good water seal on your. I think it goes inside there like that. And then, then when you put them together, it kind of seals it up nice and tight. Now shove that in there good and hard. You'll hear it click. That means it's in there good and solid. You won't be able to get it apart very easily if you want to try. So make sure you do it right the first time. You can also buy yourself a um, I don't know, $6, $7 little wrenches to do this, plastic wrenches. I, I didn't buy them, I just decided to do it this way. I mean, if, it, if I was selling this stuff, I was pre-making it and selling it, I wouldn't want it all scraped up. But this is for my own use, so I, it doesn't bother me to have it a little scratched up. Now you're just going to put this together, I don't know if you can see it there until those two, there's no more seam there. Okay, that looks like all one piece. And that's done. That's a done deal. See how the uh, weather strip there squishes up inside there? Water won't get down in there or nothing, won't short out. Good, good deal there. So that's another one done. I have a table here. I'm just measuring out 10 foot lengths. You measure it out, you know, whatever size you need. This one I'm going to try to change, give you some close up on this, change the angle a little bit. Okay, so you strip off about a quarter of an inch, more or less. I mean, they'll have to be perfect. If you have something to hold the wire, it'd probably be nice too. <laughs> but we all do what we can. See how I rounded that one over there? And then you just round this one up on top of it. And then you take your little tool here. And you see the seam right there? Keep that seam up. Just give a good squeeze together. Now that may not come apart, but just to, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to solder it anyways.
like I said, keep the, um, the solder on the underneath side. Put a little solder on there to kind of heat up the metal. Once you get it surrounded with solder, it should heat up fairly quickly. If you can see that, now it's heating up everything inside there. Okay. And that's all you do. You got a good silver bead there. No more copper showing. Okay. And you take your little thing apart. Like I said, watch out for that little weather stripping there. Slip that over that way. And I don't know if you can hear this click or not. Hear it right there? That means it's in there, good and tight. Just keep tightening up until that gap disappears. And there you go. One good solid piece. I don't know if you can see inside there, a the little metal piece in there, but. That's all done. We're ready to go. We're ready to be cut. Now this is the run. This is the run that's going to the um, junction box. So you only need you only need one side done. The other side is going to stay bare like that. Uh, you're going to strip it and, and put it in the junction box on the bus bar, and then run your wires to your uh, inverter or wherever you you know charge controller. Uh, so that's that's another set finished there. Got a few more to do. Thanks for watching. Just remember, uh, work safely. Use your head. I mean, everything's common sense. Um, but it's still your choice, you know. Um, it hasn't affected me. may affect you. Uh, I don't know. But uh, you know, it's still your choice. Um, gloves, no gloves, mask, no mask, eye protection, no eye protection. Um, you know, if anything happens, you just don't write me. <laughs> Take you, stay safe, and, uh, you know, work safe, and, uh, hope to see you again. Uh, don't forget to comment, and, uh, take care.